repent. This is the end time warning. Repent and return to the race that is set before you. You are no longer in the race. You have been drawn away from the race by those who are not in the race. Awake, arise, return to the race. The next hour may be too late. You were stumbling and falling, rising and falling in the race because you shifted your eyes from Jesus, the author and perfect example of the race. You stumbled and fall and could not rise to continue the race because your eyes were at the noise of the spectators who were not in the race, who were calling you to slow down and to stop and have a rest. By their cruel mocking, reproaching and ridiculing of those who are in the race, your heart was divided. When the fiery taste and trial for those who are in the race came, you will become weary and slowing down from the race. The world came with persecution to try your faith. Prejudice of life came to try your faith. Sickness came to test your faith. But you could not look beyond the persecution, beyond the prejudice of life and beyond the sickness to see the eternal joy that is set before you. It was when you allowed the flesh, who is not going to heaven, to comfort you and counsel you that you draw from the race and turned aside. The flesh did lead you to his own desires, pointing you to the crowd to see the many Christians who are not in the race. The many pastors, apostles, and bishops who are not in the race. They received you with open arms and comforted you with lying tongues. That whether you are in the race or not, that grace has sealed your name in the book of life. They prophesied for you. They prophesied for your prosperity and marriage. They prophesied the death of your enemies and the overflow of your finances and wealth. They comforted you also with the little gods in a little bottle of an anointing oil for your healing. They comforted you also with the blood of Jesus in a little bottle for your protection. Repent, turn away. These are dead works to the soul. Look unto Jesus. Come to a lifelong race that is set before you. It is a race you must run to the end if you will get to heaven. It is a race you must run whether you are young or old. It is a race you must run whether you are in sickness or in health. It is a race to escape from sin. It is a race of holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Sin is the issue in your life. Sin is the reason Christ came to seek for you, to redeem you and to reconcile you to God. Stop looking for prophecies. Stop searching for miracles. Your miracles are with you. Sin is the issue in your life. If I prophesy your prosperity and it comes to pass, and yet you are a servant of sin, your soul is weeping because of sin. Sin is holding your soul to cast into hell because you have not repented. What good is in the prophecy without salvation? What good is in the prosperity that will cast your soul into hell? If I prophesy the death of your enemies and it comes to pass and they all died and yet Satan, the true enemy of your soul, is dragging you to hell by the sins he have carefully hid in your heart, have you escaped? What good is in the prophecy that is pointing to people as your enemy, but will not want you to escape from Satan who is dragging you to hell? If I prophesy your marriage and it comes to pass, and yet you are a slave to sin, and the sin in your life brings fighting and hatred in your marriage, 
Tears the marriage apart. Bring tears and sorrows in your life. What good is in the prophecy without repentance? What good is in the marriage without Christ? If I prophesy for you and give you the little gods in a little bottle of an anointed oil, or I give you the blood of Jesus in a little bottle as your protector, and you lived in the error, you lived in the unbelief, and did not repent until the day the grace of God given to you to repent will expire. The day you will close your eyes in death, your cry will be too loud in hell. The Bible says in John chapter 4 verse 23, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Sin is the issue, not prophecy. Sin is the issue, not anointing oil. Seeking for miracle without repentance is a dead weight to the soul. Seeking for prophecies without repentance is a dead weight to the soul. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1, We are for seen, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Repent, return, cast away every form of idolatry. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. I want you to know that we are praying for you. We are praying that God will keep you standing in faith till the end. Please subscribe to this channel, like and share the video so that many will receive the word of eternal life and be saved. Please do support this ministry. God bless you.